Thermite has been the main hard breacher ever since the game came out, and yet even after Ace, people still play him. And so as a newer player, you might be deciding if you want to play Thermite or not, and in this video, I'm going to help you decide. Thermite is a 2 speed 2 armor that comes with the Exothermic Charge. It's a gadget that you have to place on the reinforced wall, and then once that happens, you can activate it and it will blow a really big hole in the wall. In order to understand how to play Thermite, you have to understand how to play Hard Breacher in general. Because there are operators that are designed to stop you from opening the wall, like Bandit, Cade, and Mute. As the Hard Breacher, you can't do anything about this, so you'll need to rely on your team to help you. Now, the obvious way is to use Thatcher to EMP it, obviously. But there's one small issue. He's always banned every game. Now, an obvious second option is to use EMP impacts, but considering the fact they have a smaller radius than Thatcher, you have to directly impact whatever you're trying to disable. A third option, and this is really depending on what site they go, is have Sophia or Buck go below and get whatever they're trying to destroy. When one of those things happen, you can finally get the wall. And as a support operator in general, it is now your job to try to get the plant down. Now, if you play CSGO or Valorant, I shouldn't really need to explain how hard this can truly be or how easy it can actually be. Once you get the plant down and whatever happens after that, you have successfully played your role as a support operator and pretty much Thermite as well. Now, I really shouldn't even need to say this, but please, for the love of God, do not die early on because you are more than likely the only hard breacher on the team and you need to stay alive to obviously get the wall open. But once you get the wall open, you can die and you have successfully played your role. Thermite is the most bare bones hard breacher in the entire game and the easiest to learn. Now, I will say, for Thermite's exothermic charges, it is better if they're on exterior walls. And what I mean by that is walls that are outside or walls that are facing outside. That I can immediately think of is CC on Clubhouse. Here's kind of a normal round for Thermite. I get the wall open and I try to go over to the default plant and try to plant. But obviously, let's say, you know, CC, for example, there's a lot of angles I'm going to have to worry about as an attacker. And that doesn't just apply to Thermite, that applies to everyone on your team. So usually with a hard breacher, you're going to need the assistance of your team. Also, as a support player in general, it's better if you hold angles instead of just going willy nilly and going aggressive. Start pre firing like your bolo. You don't have to do that, but in Thermite's case, he comes with a really good AR. And so if he really does need to get aggressive or frag out in general, then for Thermite's case, and especially if we're talking about Ace, you can do that. And like I've said before, if it's an exterior wall, it's better if Thermite opens up the wall. And for bomb sites that are inside that Ace needs to get the wall open, then like I said, you can bring Ace. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention Thermite can also get hatches. Now finally talking about his loadout, Thermite comes with a 556 AR, which like I said, is a very good AR. It comes with solid fire rate and solid damage, so you should have no issue fragging out. The M1014 shotgun is a piece of crap and you should only be using it on poles because that is the only good operator with it. And Thermite comes with solid secondary options, that being the 1911 and the 57 handgun. He comes with really good secondary gadgets, that being the flash grenades that are good for getting kills and clearing out utility, and smoke grenades that are good are blocking line of sight. That's pretty much everything to know about Thermite, and now for my personal opinion on him. He, to this day, he is still a good hard breacher, but he's slightly outclassed by Ace. Ace debatably has a better gun and a simpler and easier gadget to learn, but for some sites, it may call for two hard breachers, so bringing Thermite with Ace is not a bad idea at all. The support role is one of the easiest yet most important roles to learn across the attackers and defenders roster. So remember not to die early on. Other than that, you should be good to play Thermite. I have covered almost every operator in the game so far, which is almost 70 by the way, so that's a pretty crazy number. But, like I said, almost covered all of them, so if there's any other operators you are interested in, I have more than likely already covered them. I have a full playlist of them, so go check it out. And I guess that's it for the video. I am so close to 300 subs, so if you want to subscribe, that would mean a lot to me, but if you don't, that's fine, I'm not going to force you to do anything, your time is your time. But with all that being said, I'm Credit Tony, I hope you have a good day or good night, and goodbye.